Hi everyone, Amanda here. Welcome to the next Fun at Home activity. It's pretty exciting today. I'm actually going to hand over to our curator, Jono, and our amazing Ausland interpreter, Andrea. And they're going to take you and show you some fun stuff. Let's get them in. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Jono, and I'm a curator here at the National Museum of Australia. That means that my job is to look after the incredible objects that the museum holds and displays. And I'm joined today by Andrea, who's going to be signing everything that we talk about. So, today we're going to talk about some very famous Australian animals. But before we do that, we're going to pay our respects to the Ngunnawal, Ngunnawal and Ngambri people who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today. So please, everyone at home, feel free to join in the actions. Here is the ground that covers the land. Here is the sky that covers the land. And here are our hearts that look after the land. Welcome. So, who is the wooliest sheep in the world? Some of you might know his name. Some of you might even have his name. His name was Chris, and he lived just a few kilometers from where we're meeting today in the museum. In 2015, a lady called Sue Dowling was out for a walk in the countryside around Canberra when she spotted a large sheep up on a hill. Now, when I talk about large, I mean really large. But Sue saw that this sheep wasn't moving. She thought that it was sick, so she called the RSPCA. Now they look after animals, and they went out to the paddock in their ute and they mustered the sheep on board and brought it back to their shelter. Chris's fleece was so big that it was hurting him. He couldn't move very well, and so he could have been hunted by foxes or wild dogs. So the RSPCA called the Australian Championship Shearer, Ian Elkins, to shear his coat off. And when Ian got that fleece off, they weighed it, and it was over 40 kilograms. And that was 12 kilograms more than the next largest fleece in the world, which came from a sheep from New Zealand called Big Ben. Now, there were some people in New Zealand that weren't very happy that the wooliest sheep in the world now was Chris. But Chris was super happy because he could run and jump and play in the paddocks. And at the National Museum, we're really happy because we got Chris's fleece. This is a statue of Trim the Cat. He's the most famous cat in Australia and I think He's one of the most famous cats in the world. I think there are more statues of him than any other cat ever. So why was he so famous? I think the clue is with the man that he's almost always pictured with, and that's his owner, Captain Matthew Flinders. Captain Flinders was a great navigator and map maker. He is also the first person who named this continent Australia. Anyway, Trim was born on board the HMS Reliance, sailing from South Africa to Australia. And as a little kitten, he fell overboard. Now, cats are not great swimmers. And so the crew had actually given that little cat up for lost. But then they saw Trim gingerly climbing up the anchor rope and back on board the ship. That little cat had showed the kind of survival skills that sailors love. And he became the favorite cat of the crew and of Captain Flinders. He joined the captain on his most famous ship, the HMS Investigator, which was a great name for that ship because it was the first vessel to actually sail the whole way around Australia. And here's a map that Captain Flinders made of that route. It's the first map to show the whole coastline of this country. 
Even after that amazing voyage, they stayed together. And when Captain Flinders was accused of spying for England against France on the island of Mauritius, the two of them were imprisoned together. Now that was a faithful cat. And maybe that's why Captain Flinders ended up writing an entire book about Trim, because he was the most faithful cat in the world. Hello everyone, we're going to show you how to make your own animal jigsaw puzzle at home. What you need to do is to draw or paint your own favourite animal. We've got some examples here. We've got Chris the sheep, we've got the kangaroo, we've got Trim the cat. So once you have your picture, find some thin cardboard, glue it on and wait for it to dry. Then choose one of the two templates from the museum website, print them off and pop one on the back. Let that dry as well, and then you can cut out your pieces with a pair of scissors. Have fun with that, and we'll see you next time.